Now for the rice. Ooh, looks amazing. It looks cooked. Drip drip gang, I'm back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you know every time I upload. And if you're a returning subscriber, basically today we are doing a uh, trying to cook a Somali rice and banana. Banana on the side, but a uh, rice with meat and a fish water. A lot of uh, amazing things is going to take place. So I want to show you guys how I prepare my rice and banana and all of that and how I cook it. Because the other day when I cooked it, my sister really liked it. So I want to basically show you guys how to cook it so if you're at home and you can watch this and basically learn the steps and yeah so hit the intro <laughs> So it's a little bit too light, but boom guys, so I've got everything ready, as you can see over there, I've got everything sorted, so I've got onions, I've got a, basically a, what is, what is this called? A pot. So I've got my pot, I've got two, two pots, which I'll be using to cook the rice and the meat, and, because I'm going to cook them separately, so I want you guys to follow the step. Uh, some of you guys don't know what is going on and how Somali people make their food, but this is not all Somali people make this kind of food. Wait, what am I saying? What I'm trying to say is basically not all Somali people uh, make this kind of recipe, it's not the same. It, it changes sometimes. Some people add uh, yogurt, some people add many other things, but this is how I cook it. So I've got the onions and I've got a uh, leeks and all of that. So once you have your meat ready, um, basically you get the meat from the freezer and you basically put it in a pot like this, in a pot like this, you put it in and then you put water and you leave it there to basically cook, defrost and all of that. And then once that happens, so you just basically add a, um, what is this called? A, so, maradiag. So this is called maradiag, but you add this. Uh, which is like a chicken stock you add chicken stock on top of the the meat that's already in the water and you let it sit for like uh, 20 50, 30 minutes or 20 to 15 minutes and you let that you know what I mean cook proper once you have that as I have it already here once you have your um, like meat like this cooked and everything uh, as you can see is already cooked and you can see that it's cooked all you need to do is now just pour the water out but leave the water do not throw the water away Guys, right, so while that pan is hotting up, make sure you add oil. So this is going to be for the rice. So you need to add oil for that one. So once you have the oil, you're going to add the onions that you've really chopped it up. So once you have the onions chopped up, you're going to add it on. Meanwhile, you have to multitask as well. So you need to get a coriander and you need to get a... What is this called? Torn. What's torn? Uh, how do I say torn? Garlic. Okay, so you get garlic and you add the coriander. So you basically, you get two uh, garlics and you get the coriander and you're going to basically chop it up. Make sure you don't forget to chop it up. So you're going to chop it up and you're going to add that into the... Habaji or two because the more you add it the more it becomes saucy and you know like so so guys once you have all of that once you mix the, the, the rice into the, the onions the oil the garlic and you know the coriander you're gonna add the soup so all you need to do is basically add the soup and then what you need to do is you need to get a water so you're going to basically add water so my people the rice is cooking food is cooking <laughs> So before I serve the rice to everyone, my mom, 
She's, she, my mom is actually here, so she's gonna taste it. So as you can see, the meat is cooked. Now for the rice. Ooh, looks amazing. It looks cooked. Yep. So now it's basically time to serve. I'm gonna serve it to everybody now. Yes. So, guys, I've got my rice here. As you guys can see, look, I've got the rice. I've cooked it, as you guys can witness. And I'm gonna get my mom's reaction and my, my sister's reaction as what they think, because right now I don't know. I just basically set the table. I've got my Coke here, um, as you guys can see, and I've got lime. I've got the banana, of course. You need to have it with banana, because if it's not, then what's the point? So, yeah. <sighs> oh, you don't understand how hungry I've been all day. Um, the thing is, I was gonna get rice from the Somali shops, but then I thought, you know what? Let me cook it myself and see how it can be and how it can turn out. Ooh. So yeah, and I just wanted to basically thank a lot of you guys who are, you know, subscribing right now, who are finding out about me. I am really grateful. So I just want to say that I am super, super, so. Ah, I'm the coffee. Yeah. See, my mom is saying it right now, guys. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Guys, yeah, so basically my mom really likes it. She finished her plate. I don't know why she put it here, but she finished her plate. And yeah, alhamdulillah, like the food is amazing. Um if you guys want to follow the recipe, you can follow the recipe. Yeah, you can take the drink. Everybody's literally coming over here because I'm literally I told them like get out, I wanna film a mukbang uh for you guys. And yeah, well I am so hungry, like oh, How's the rice? Beautiful. I like that. I like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Close the door, please. Say who the dirt is lacking. Huh? Say who the dirt. My husband. Just um, Hawaji and Ishag. Uh, Basal and Ton and all of that. Oh my god. Why is it nice? Yeah, wallah, billah, I mean, so I said, I didn't make it. Nope. I didn't know how to go on that. She can't wear leather, what the hell? She was literally on her way, and I did that all of that as well. I swear to God, you guys, look, it, it's amazing. If you want me to come over to your house and cook it for you, let me know and tell your mom, you know what I mean? Uh, I can cook, and yeah. So. Mmm. This is incredible. Well, that is crazy. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, um, there's nothing I can say. The rice turned out really amazing. Love the food. Obviously, nothing beats Somali rice and banana. Obviously, everything is, you know, they, they stick together. They become as one. Is jam and butter. Jam and butter is breeze and helium. If you're if you're watching this video and you've never had rice and banana, make sure you get yourself a banana, make sure you get your rice and eat it with it. It will change your life, trust me. This is for the culture, huh? I'm just bad. Not just bad, it's chili. Not everybody eats chili. No, they don't. So make sure you get a banana, rice. I promise you, it's gonna change your life. Do it for the culture. Do it for the Somali culture. If you're Somali and you're watching this, feed your white friends, feed your black friends, feed your Asian friends. Give them the banana and the rice. Absolutely. Your wife and I your don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And your moms and brothers and sisters. Everybody. Everybody. Literally. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to turn your notification bell on and please tell your friends, family, we're about to hit 5k subscribers. It will mean the world to me if you tell everybody and share the video. And yeah, so see you next time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> yes, <was> nice. <laughs>